Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2, and I will explain a little bit more about the Zaid stuff because I looked into it. So, apparently, uh, the guide I was using was wrong, and someone in the comments was wrong too. They were like, save your renegade points because, or get max out your renegade before doing the mission. And I said, okay, fine. You do not need max renegade to do the mission, you would need max paragon to ensure that you get his loyalty. If you do the renegade version, he's loyal anyways. If I go actually do the status right now, he's loyal. It doesn't matter. So all you have to do is, you can do it at any point in the game, you can do it as long as you do the Renegade version. If you're a goody two shoes Paragon, which is probably what the guy was thinking of, uh, you need maximum Paragon. And the Paragon actually scales based upon your Renegade, actually. So uh, if your Renegade is maxed, your, par your Paragon also has to be maxed, I think. Uh, it, it just gets harder as you progress through the game. That's all, that's all I know. Uh, just the check gets higher and higher. So what he meant to say was to in order to get his loyalty I needed to do I need to have a uh, high paragon if I want to save the refinery workers um, If I don't give a fuck about them uh, It depends on the kind of run you're doing uh, Then you can let them die and he lives in the other games um, If you if you don't have his loyalty mission he dies early on apparently in uh, Mass Effect 3 uh, that this is as far as I know um, so, I needed to be, I needed for him to be loyal. As far as I know, saving the refinery workers absolutely does nothing for the game, so they don't matter. Um, and I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you know, a couple of refinery workers is nothing compared to, you know, saving the galaxy, whatever. So, no matter what, even if there is some kind of random ass scenario that I'm not taking into account here, um, do remember that... I don't have max paragon, and I'm not going to go farming paragon points, so it's okay. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, I could edit something in the save file if it if there's something bad. I don't think there is anything bad. I've just I've never done it, so I was I was going based upon a my guide and b what people were saying, and what and both were wrong in different ways. Actually, weirdly enough, especially when I got into it, I'm like, okay, it's wrong, because um, the guide was wrong. It says you can convince him to stay with a renegade action. Nope, no such thing. I don't think there was another dialogue for it either, you know. So, it's one of those things that's kind of, uh, kind of weird. So, I wonder, I wonder if he has anything to tell us. So, Jack won't want to talk to us. Uh, Jack will not want to talk to us anymore, because we, uh, we, we decided we didn't care about our feelings, and we decided to just fuck around instead, so she won't talk to us anymore. Back for another lesson. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions. Tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I, I don't really want to talk to him anymore. I think if I talk to uh, the Kroger man, he's just going to tell me about his, uh, that I'm his battle master, I think. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? Battle master. Yeah. I am. Shepherd. Yeah, okay. So I I think all these guys have nothing else to say. I don't know about Thane. Well we'll just check on Thane, that's it. I think we're getting pretty close to uh completion here. Maybe maybe actually maybe Samara has something to say to us, because we, we didn't talk to her. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Yeah, so there's nothing with this guy. just thinking about you okay that's creepy I, I mean I just kind of walk into a room unannounced and fucking hell Shepard anything new there is something I've wanted to tell you I've done many things in my lifetime I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me since joining you, 
I've realized how much more there is. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. Our lives are secondary to completing the mission. Agreed. All right. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I should go. Of uh, course. This is nothing here. I may have ended it prematurely. Sometimes that when I do Renegade actions, I may be doing that, but eh, fuck it. Renegade is best actions. No messages for you, Commander. I wonder if Joker has anything to say about this situation. You know what I miss? I miss having that fucking key that sped up time. Can I actually do that? It's like host, like, time scale? No, I don't know what it is. I had a button for that, you know. At least I can jog in this one. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb. That's it for now. See wow. you, Commander. Uh, Joker did not have a lot of dialogue for these missions, did he? I guess, I guess Zaid's makes sense, because why would he have a, something to say about that? I mean, they only get the voice actors once. That's like a serious problem, like how they only voice actor stuff once. That's why I would hope that they would do bigger expansion packs for this stuff. You know, kind of miss that shit. Anyways, we're gonna do Firewalker MSV Rosalie. Um, yeah, shut up, Edie. Uh, this is apparently where you're supposed to get the hammerhead for the first time, but we did the other mission instead. And then I was very confused on how to work the thing. So, you know, whatever. You know, I haven't even looked at my armor in forever. It's like the same armor I equipped like in like episode three. We should probably look at that too at some point. All right, so you can run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Garrison Grunt and Shepard. What, another volcanic planet? Give me a fucking break. So we came down in the fucking shuttle, all right? I don't think the ship is safe. We've run into the Geth far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. All right. Uh Cargo computer bypass. Hooray mini games. Yeah, there it is. That's this is when you're supposed to get it for the first time. Um, so, like I said, I did it out of order, but how how do I know? Like I've never done these DLCs. That's a nice helmet he has, actually. Uh, the the fucking uh, Kroger. Left shift to jump, and I've already changed the keys for this, so they actually don't work that way. Caution, guided missile system active. Acquired. So yeah, now now I actually get a fucking tutorial, and I didn't get a tutorial last time. Well, well one I did it for the first time, so a little bit of an undersight by the developer. It's just slight. Just like you know, you know, you tested it right, etc. Obstruction detected. Well, maybe, is now clear. maybe I'll learn something new about it. Well, I guess we're gonna go here. So you know what? An interesting uh, discussion happened, which is uh, what do I think about Hammerhead versus uh, Mako. I like the Mako better. Mako is fucking way better. This thing is like just constantly, you know, it's just like, oh, you, you can't. Let's make it so like it's hovering so you don't have to worry about like terrain and stuff like that. Uh, you know, let's make it so that you get these rockets and no health bar and. Oh, I have to hold right click to go over stuff. Mako fucking kicked ass, alright? And anyone who says otherwise, 
You're banned from, I don't know, the Mako, I guess. So, I don't know, it was overall, it was just a much better experience, in my opinion, the, the Mako. It's such a, just a, I don't know, a half-assed vehicle, honestly, in a lot of ways. Okay, some of these things give credits, too. I like how there's nice big arrows pointing me to shit. And the Mako had a bit of depth to it, like, because they had the two guns and, like, you have to repair it and some other shit like that, you know? What, is the, what does this guy have? Anytime I take damage, I just wait. It just catches fire. That's my that's my only visual indicator that something is is bad, and then, you know, I just wait. I gotta go to that one up here. Like, how's this research? It's just, it's literally just a beacon that I'm holding right click over. <clears throat> this thing is disappointing in more ways than one. I don't know. I mean, good enough for, because the game didn't have anything like this before, so. Come on, you can make it up there. Yeah, boy. I'm the best uh, not Mako driver ever. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Mission objectives completed. What? That's it? What the fuck? Anyways, I was gonna say that I pretty much think it's simplified like the rest of the the game essentially. So okay, now we have the hammerhead. Now we have the hammerhead. What the fuck? What? I am a very confused individual right now. Alright. We pick do we get new missions with it? There was no combat involved. Oh there we go. Firewalker out of artifact collection. Okay. So they have now added a couple of missions with it. Okay, well I can't tell which one the firewalker one is. I guess it's this one. Alright, so we picked it up and, and I, gu I guess the one we had before was like its own special fucking... Um, I don't know, man. There's a bit of sequence breaking going on here, I feel. Let's go fucking... And then guess what? No, new systems appeared. I, I, I had actually finished scanning every planet two episodes ago. And guess what? Now there's more fucking <laughs> planets. They're, the, the universe is expanding. It's materializing out of nowhere. Uh, it's, it's all good though. It's only just three planets, guys. We we had to, we got to suffer through it together. That's it. All right. All right. Well, let's land. Uh, I was gonna change my armor, wasn't I? And I totally didn't do that because I forgot. Because every time I look at their armor now, I, that's what I think about. Ooh, more flashbang grenade. Fuck yeah. And these guys don't get anything. Alright. Alright, let's get out the... F Wait, is that going to be actually in the ship now? I wonder if they did that little attention to detail. Alright, alright. Oh, now, now it's feeling like the good old days. Where I got to... Mission objectives. Mission objectives so what was their justification, lore-wise, for removing the Mako? And now I'm taking damage. The Mako would have taken like 10 times as much damage. Like, I can't get out of this thing whenever I want. Like, as I said, it's just, everything is just console about it, you know? 
They decided for some reason that I wasn't uh, I wasn't trustworthy enough to get out of the vehicle on my own. And and also I need the fucking thing to talk to me. Why does the game think I can't be trusted and explore my own? I mean, my ship's not on fire, but that's okay. I mean, I, I won't lie. The Mako is kind of boring at times, too. But this is even worse somehow, because all I'm doing is holding left like they're like... And I, I remember in the other game, at least I had the option of like, speeding up the game to destroy stuff. And I mean, I probably have that option here, but the thing is, I don't think I would ever live, because the, this thing is so fragile. So... Yeah, all I'm gonna do is bitch about it, trust me, no, I, I think I'm done. I think you guys get the point. I also got auto-aim. Also very constant, but fuck you guys, I'm gonna complain about whatever I want. The game's shit. I fucking hate it. I'm just... I'm, I'm kidding. I like riffing on games while I play them, alright? You know me. Or or you don't. Death force is detected. But if you're one of those people who don't, then you probably stopped watching two episodes in. Like, this guy hates a game I love. What the fuck? How dare he? I mean, you know what? I've actually talked to a lot of people who like this game. And they're, they're enjoying. They're enjoying the run. Because it's fun. What the fuck, the thing? Oh, I have to evade it. It's actually cool. I like it. But, definitely this is one of the more glitchier runs that I've ever seen and I have no idea, well, that they've ever seen and I guess I've ever seen. Because I've played this game before and it was never this glitchy. It's so weird. It makes it very hilarious though. But not in the not in the good game kind of way, more like in the Splinter Cell Conviction kind of way. You know, people. G I, I I'll be honest with you. I am getting those exact same vibes, though. This is Splinter Cell Conviction for me right now, where like people like it. I don't really understand why, uh, and and everybody fucking rages at me in the first couple parts about it and then there's a bunch of people who really like it just because I'm just because I'm riffing on the game this is this is literally single player Splinter Cell Conviction for me and I had no idea that would be the case trust me I, I don't try to make this shit happen guys man I just I just sit down and go like Man, I like recording stuff for YouTube. I'm gonna just sit down and record, you know, four, usually four episodes at a time. That's that's what I currently do. That, that, that seems really simple to me. I'm just gonna talk, play video games, have this little blue fucking sperm follow me around. Now I'm fucking dead. You know, simple things like that. Hold down left mouse button. Complain about video games, you know. Good old times. Alright. Guys, I think we finally found something that's worse than, worse than planet scanning. <laughs> this is fucking shit. Alright, well, let's see. Can I go over here? The answer is yes, I can. Okay, so I wasn't even breaking the game. That was actually the way forward. Oh my god, it's just every single area has like, a Colossus at least. And they're fucking tanky as all holy shit. And then, and then like the fucking alarm go goes off, so, so Garrus knows when to wake up. Alright, final verdict. Uh, Mako is ten times this fucking thing. I mean, listen. The, the problem with the Mako in Mass Effect 1 was not the Mako itself, really. It was more that the planets were repetitive, and when you were exploring them, like, there just wasn't too much to explore. Now there's linear paths to explore, which is ironic, considering this is a very, very, very mobile uh, ship. It has, like, a huge jump and shit. 
and speed boosters. You know? And I, and I feel like there's even less to do than the Mako had. Alright, I don't, I don't know if I can... I don't know if the yellow kills me, so I'm gonna just, uh... You know, avoid that. You never know, guys. But the, the one thing I've learned is that, no matter what I criticize, there's always someone in the comments who likes it. And that's fine. You know, you can you can like stuff. I don't, I don't understand what, what it is with everyone's incessant like... There are they're, they're literally people out there that are like, oh, you know, you're not having fun correctly, or... Other kind of bullshit like that. Like, they get, they get mad at stuff that other people don't enjoy, like, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I used to not like MOBAs, but I, I never really fucking, like, got mad at my friends for enjoying it. Like, why would I do that? Yeah. It's fucking weird. Or, like, people made internet videos. It's just, I wasn't interested in it, necessarily. And then I started liking MOBAs. It's not Pat. It's Pat's fault, by the way, so... There's a guest prime there too. All these senseless guest slaughters, man. I feel for them. I wonder if Edie cares. Edie has feelings, right? I, okay, this guy's just what the fuck, dude. All right, you know what it is? Honestly, I'm fucking just shooting around, and then when I'm aiming for him, the fucking missiles go somewhere else. Wait, wait, what the fuck is this, dude? Is this for real right now? Is this for real right now? Is this for real? It was like one of the fucking second to last enemies. Dude, this is fucking horse shit. What the fuck? And at no point saved it? Did I have the option to save it? I don't even know. It usually never, do never does anything like this. Alright guys, I'm leaving it in. Too fucking bad. We're doing this entire fucking monotonous part again. No, I'm joking. I'm fucking. You're lucky I like to edit videos and, and feel bad if I would leave some bullshit like this in. So these assholes put two Geth Colossus at the end. This is like fucking. Like some fucking next level, like Kaizo Mass Effect bullshit right now. So there's a couple of things in my extensive fucking playthrough of this level, because I've had to repeat it. This is now the second time. I can now say without doubt, I fucking hate the Hammerhead. It's a piece of fucking shit. Because, A, I think they had technical issues in saving, because I, I am not allowed to save. This is a, you do it all in one run. I have realized I could just snipe things, because the stupid ass missiles, they auto-aim. Much to actually the detriment, their auto-aim is really good, as in... Really, really, really OP. Okay, wait. I shouldn't say really good. That's not the that's not the phrase I'm looking for. More, more like it aims onto anything, and th this is probably half the reason I was. Uh, th they will they will miss their target actually with that auto aim. Mission objectives completed. Get me the fuck out of here! Holy shit! They will miss the tar your intended target sometimes because of the auto aim. Like they will they will. They will basically try and shoot something else, and then, like, it'll... Kind of the missiles will turn towards them, and blow up into something else. And, like, I, I, like, because I was literally trying to snipe things in that, because I'm like, I'm not doing that more than two times. And fucking... I was trying to aim for several things, and it would just, like... Like, it would, it would miss completely and just be hitting a wall. And it would be never ending because it would always be locked on to some other fucking target, so. Uh, anyways, it's a piece of shit. Uh, so why not do another one? Because we got like fucking three of these to do. I feel sorry if you fucking pieces of shit don't like it. Fuck. Nothing happens when I run out of gas, right? I don't think anything happens. Well, nothing better happen. Fuck it. <sighs> Let's do something more interesting like scan planets. Ah, oh, yeah. Dude, we got so much LN0. We're literally up to our tits and fucking... 
Element Zero, man. We're gonna have a small Element Zero party. Oh my god. Dude, games should not make me this bored, honestly. It's supposed to be fun. I'm not I'm not joking when I said this is literally the splinter cell of Mass Effect games to me right now. Alright. I see 60%. Where's the planet I missed? Oh, of course, the sun. Oh no no, the the planet that was in the super bright fucking bloom. I love that one. Dude, why is it green? How could anything grow on that fucking planet? It's in this fucking sun of the system. You shut your mouth, kid. Yeah, whatever. Fuck, we gotta go down there. I don't wanna fucking do this. It doesn't matter who we bring along for this mission. Bring along Jack and, I don't know, fucking... Samara, there we go. That, nobody says anything. We're just in the fucking Firewalker. Watch this be the one where I actually get out of there. Oh, I, I didn't use the flashbang yet. I still haven't looked at my fucking over. God damn it, don't look at that thing. Fuck. Make it stop. Alright, what's our monotonous mission today? Systems online. Search for research stuff. Thermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Please use manual controls to locate research base. Alright, so we're just supposed to go to a research base, right? You know, th this might actually be the one where we get out of there and I'm gonna have fucking Samara and Jack. You know. Fuck. This is the horrible thing about blind runs. Alright, we can't fuck this up or we're going back to the ship. Actually, maybe we should fuck it up just so we can get better teammates, maybe. Maybe it's better if I do this earlier than later. Alright, we can go to that. Don't worry. I'm too good at games, guys. Like, what? The worst part is they, they leave, like, these little fucking breadcrumbs of, like, iridium or credits or something. Like, it gave you fucking 175 credits for one of these things once. And it's like, dude, why 175? Like, that's such a pointless number. And I had to, like, mine it. And then it does a stupid shit where it moves around. And it, w it, w it will actually cancel it, by the way. It will absolutely cancel it if you, uh... If you, if you go off the thing for too long. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, without a doubt, if you enjoyed anything about the Hammerhead, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> it sucks ass. You know, you know. Most of the time, I could be, I could be very, a, a very compromising individual. Uh, in this case, I can't be. All right, where the fuck do we go from here? Well, like, there's no objectives. There's no saving. What are we supposed to do here? Uh, volcano station. Search for a research station. Well. Oh, oh, good, I can see through the world there. One sec, we need to go back up there. It's one of those kinds of maps. Oh, there we go. Actually, wait, this is... Is it going anywhere? Because that looks like totally a way forward. Yeah, fuck off, game. Cause I, I hit like an invisible wall there and shit. Well, I know lava is gonna eat me alive, despite the fact this thing hovers. It it hovers when it's convenient in the video games world. Oh wait, we go over here. Are you fucking? That's why I didn't want me to go forward. Oh fuck, I do get these two. Fuck. Oh, it's not like that teammates ever mattered, anyways. Uh, this is what I get for being a meme lord. I <laughs> get the fucking shitty teammates. God, I just want to cane myself right now. Wait, do I get to sa Oh, now I get to save it. Data pad. We've discovered something beneath the volcano. Okay, Alright. We also got money. 250 credits, guys. Wh when in the game do you ever get 250 credits for shit? It's, it's almost like they didn't want to upset the balance of the, the game already, and it's not really an add-on. It's just... Uh, 
That's all I have to say. 125 credits! God, I don't even care about the story. I'm just so bad that it's not giving me any money. Well, at least we won't have to hear Samara and Jack talk. Or literally do anything. Why everything's shaking? Is the volcano blowing up? Like, what the fuck's going on? Well, we definitely have time for some refined iridium. Jack, what do you have to say on the matter? Excellent. Keeping your mouth shut. That's what I like to see. I'm afraid to just run through this, honestly. There's no timer, there's no nothing. Alright. Back in the hammerhead where it's relatively safe but really boring. Ah, oh, so that's why I was able to do this. Blurriness. Fuck, I can't see shit. I didn't even know there was a fucking, like, drop off over here. That's how shaky it was. Oh, no, definitely have time to collect whatever stupid iridium shit is here. Extraction complete. Uh, it is slightly more iridium, nice. So wait, what did we do? I, I don't even know why the why the plan's blowing up right now. I thought it was just the facility was blowing up. I'm gonna guess something to do with the unstable volcano. Okay, let's not go just because we, we're not quite sure. And I don't want to have to go back to looking at Jack's face or whatever. Oh, how exciting. Alright, well. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys next time if I haven't died of boredom right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. We're gonna finish it next time. Goodbye, guys.